What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a very exciting video. I'm beyond excited for this one. I have the three newest balls on the market, top official match balls. I don't care. These aren't what I'm talking about. I got something way better. This right here is what I actually care about. It's a Jabalani. I've finally been able to get my hands on one from the 2010 World Cup and they're known to be the most ridiculous balls when it comes to movement in the air. As you guys well and truly know, I love my knuckle balls. There is nothing sweeter than hitting a nice knuckle ball. So we're going to be putting up the OG of knuckle balls. The Javelani against the Premier La Liga ball, the Nike Premier League ball, and the Adidas Champions League ball, all for the upcoming seasons. I'm so interested to see how these balls move compared to the OG, but there's going to be some unreal goals scored in this video. I promise you that. Let's get into it. A quick history lesson before we kick it. Now this, if you can remember, it wreaked havoc at the 2010 World Cup. It was keeper's biggest nightmare, and that is because of the design of the ball. It just moved so much in the air. This comes down to a few factors. Reason one, aerodynamics. So this ball, effectively, they made it too smooth. There is not enough grooves within the ball for the air to grab onto and hold it stable as it's flying through the air. Instead, it can be affected from many different angles and that can cause it to move in lots of different directions, especially if there's no spin on the ball. Reason number two, the weight of the ball. This is one of the lightest balls that has ever been made and that leads us on to reason number three. Number three, and it is the thickness of the panels on this ball. They are so thin, you're pretty much striking the bladder every time you hit it. There is no padding between your foot and the ball. It's a bit like those old school air flow to footballs that you used to kick which was just a bladder so you put those three reasons together and a couple more which are a bit too sciencey for me and you get this the ball that wants to knuckle the most out of any ball ever made quickly before i start shooting watch these shots from the other night this was like 10 minutes of shooting worth the ball moves this much it is ridiculous but you might not be able to see i have the camera literally pushed back off the field just so I can get as much space as I can between me and the goal to give the ball time to move in the air. But let's kick this ball. This is the first shot. Let's go. Oh, it's gonna move so much. But this ball is gonna knuckle into that top left corner. Oh, oh, go with the goal. Oh, this ball's ridiculous. Feeling like prime Diego Fallen. 2002 World Cup. Just a little touch out of the feet. <laughs> Why is it all stupid? I hope you can see how much it moves on camera because it is ridiculous. Guys, I can't believe it. On that last shooting set, right, my camera died and my third shot that I hit was absolutely ridiculous. But I'm neglecting these other balls. I'm having too much fun. This is incredible. I love it. This ball, man. This one, I'm going to try something different. It's not going to be a knuckleball technique. It's just going to be about absolute power hitting through the ball. Try and keep it low and just sort of drive out a target and see if it moves at all. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> well, exactly what I said. And it, it started straight and then it just veered towards the target. <laughs> Right, this ball is a joke. Ah, uh, uh, I think I'm in love. I keep forgetting I, I've got three other footballs. All right, let's see how these go. Puma ball first. Oh, that would have been a sensational start for the Puma ball. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was it. I tell you what, the Puma ball is growing on me. I don't mind it too much, but it's time to move on. We're on to the Nike ball now. Let's see how it goes. Oh, <laughs> I think that's one of the best goals I've ever scored. That was an arrow. The thing is, it didn't knuckle that much. I think that's because of the design of the Nike Flight, but that flew bins. I am happy with that. So I've scored a banger with the Nike Flight, but it still didn't knuckle enough for me. My expectations are high after shooting the Jabalani. I'm going to give myself one more shot with it, see what I can do. Got to finish on a good one. Oh, so that was dead and it moved a lot more. Unfortunately, not inside the target, but we've got one more ball left to test. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, wow. Guys, I know I'm meant to be comparing the balls, but it's not possible when the Javelin is just that much better than everything else. Quick rundown of other balls. Puma ball, super padded, not much texture on the upper, flies like a traditional football, can knuckle a bit. Nike Premier League ball, Nike flight ball, most technology ever put into a football. 68 renditions, lots of grooves, aerodynamics, pings really nice off the foot, doesn't knuckle that much, can move a little bit. Champions League ball, super thin upper, very unforgiving when you strike it, if you strike it clean, flies like a missile, but doesn't really move much, quite a grippy texture on the upper with those stars. Jabalani, best ball ever made. That's it. That's it. If anybody else has a Jabalani, I need a ball bag full of these and I'll tell you the content, the knuckle balls I will score. Stupid. But for now, I'm going to give you a different angle. I want to show you the movement that this has a little bit better. I might go a bit more front on to go. Might drop you a bit lower and I might even try chuck you in slow-mo so you can see exactly what this does when it's in the air. It is ridiculous. This ball is genuinely incredible. I can see why keepers absolutely hated it and players, if they mastered it, absolutely loved it. I am such a big fan. I've never kicked something that is so much fun. I'm enjoying myself so much out here on the pitch. I've been shooting all day. My legs are so tired, but I've got enough energy to kick this. Just this ball. The other balls, oh. I've literally binned off. I'm only kicking the Jibalani. Oh. oh. Wow, I'm having too much fun with the Jabalani. I need to remember this isn't the video. It's about the modern day footballs and how they knuckle. So this is my last one. I'm giving myself one more shot. No more after this. Oh. That would have been ridiculous. Lads, lasses, girls, boys, ladies and gentlemen, I'm shacked. I am absolutely knackered. It's been a long day of shooting. My body is falling to bits. It's time to wrap it up and I have had a lot of fun this video. For one reason, you all know that reason. I don't even need to talk about it. I'm sorry, I was meant to talk about how these balls compare to the Jabalani of the past. They're all good, all right? Done. All these footballs are good. If you're really good at striking the ball, get the Champions League one. It's the most unforgiving. If you like a traditional feel, get the Puma one. If you like something a bit different, that bit zings off your foot and pinging is reliable, then get the Nike. But if you want to have fun, get the Jabalani. This is the best ball I've ever kicked. And I've said it so many times and I'll keep saying it. This will be back in a lot of videos. Any video ideas you want to see where I use this, I'm already thinking a can of helium and see what happens. But let me know in the comments, taking the boots off, the rodacious pack, down here at Ultra Football, get your hands on these, get your hands on the footballs I've talked about today as well. These guys are legends and it's a pleasure to be here. But thank you guys for watching. You guys are legends, you are really the best. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Video done. I might stay here and kick this ball for a bit longer. Should I let him up?